Hello everyone, today I'm at So You Think You Can Dance Top 9 live show with Jake, Jenna, Tate, and Catherine. And this is On The Spot Interviews. Hello everyone! Oh my gosh, was that so much fun today? Yes it was! Yeah. It was a blast, for sure. A lot really, of nerves. Really amazing. It was a tough week. <laughs> Just being real with you, it was a tough week for everyone physically and emotionally, emotionally sure. but we, we made it and I feel so proud of everybody. <laughs> yeah. I honestly think that um, you two had two of the hardest routines and I'm not even a dancer but I could just tell by like the rehearsal clips and everything, like a lot of work. So what was the biggest obstacle you faced? Because I'm sure it was just hard all around. Uh, the biggest obstacle I face is the height difference, but also, uh, but I feel that if I could be long and strong and tall and act like I'm taller than Jenna, I feel like I could do it. <laughs> or you could just get like maybe two feet heels. You no, know, pumps or something, <laughs> high heels. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's always been a struggle for us is the height difference. Um, I'm used to dancing with a taller man to partner me around, but he's come so far and he's been working so hard for me and partnering me, so I'm very, very proud of him and all that he's accomplished this week, so, yeah. And you guys don't have the height issue, do you? No. Definitely not. But one of the um, obstacles this week was not having to practice with the big ribbons that went across the stage. We had to like, we had to envision those and then like we had 15 min minutes on stage to practice with them so that was definitely difficult. It felt, and it felt different. It, it made you feel safe. Like Tate was saying, she's like, you almost felt protected like you couldn't be seen which was, even though you can in every way, you kind of felt hidden so you felt more safe um, but at the same time it was getting used to finding a connection with each other when we're kind of partnering with the fabric. So we're used to partnering and being this close to each other's yeah. eyes and we had to try to find that connection but from the opposite ends of the stage basically the whole time. <laughs> so for us it was a challenge of like just allowing ourselves to not put on a character but tell the truth in the midst of not being close. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I have to say, like, <laughs> no, like, um, I know laser that. Vision. <laughs> did you feel like you had laser vision, though? Because for us, it looked like you were connected the whole time, despite that difference. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Cool. So, of course, you know, everyone on this show goes on the show as a certain type of genre of dancer. Is there any style that maybe it's not your favorite, you're not the best at it, but you really hope to get in the coming weeks? Well, uh, maybe, well, I have usually trained in every different style, okay. but um, the, the one that I'm really excited for and really want to do and might be very really difficult is contemporary. That's going to be a fun one. Yes, I hope you can get that then. Yeah. What about for you? Um, I want to see him do like crump, something where he is yes. like hard hitting hip hop, oh not like so smiley and so playful, but a little bit more serious and hard hitting. I think he would nail. And I think it would be a challenge, so I really want to see him hopefully do something like that. Try to pick that one out of the hat, okay? <laughs> um, for me, I really want to try ballroom because yeah, girl. on the other side, I want to try and be more playful instead of so serious and like held up. So I want to like try something new and definitely play with like my character and stuff. Those you like ballroom? <laughs> I know. I, I mean, I would love to see her do ballroom or disco or something. But the hard thing is. It's Tate is taller than everybody. So for me, I'm like, I would love to see you do ballroom. And then I'm like, I don't want to see you do ballroom because you're taller than everybody. Right? I mean, so, it's like you and me doing it, so. I would, I would love to see you do ballroom with an all-star. Like, I think that would be amazing. It would be amazing with another junior, too, as well. And I would love to see that. But um, who knows what you're going to get? No idea. I can't wait to see what you guys get for, um, I know the show's on hiatus for a couple weeks with the Olympics, but yeah. when you come back in two weeks, I can't wait. Oh, you do have yeah, next week. Next but then, then the two weeks. Week. Yeah. Gotcha. And next week, two are getting eliminated. No, Double. I hate when that happens. Oh. It's even so hard. Yeah. But Shaden, we had to say, so at the end, like, we went off stage and then we went to our room and we said goodbye to him and... We all had to say, like, we all said something, like, personally, what we loved about him, and we all were bawling. Like, it was so emotional, because he's the coolest kid ever. I think that you guys will keep in touch with him, though, right? Of course. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, of course. On social media and stuff, which um, I know, you know, it's kind of hard. We're not sure if you have social media, so can you just give your real links? Because, you know, with all the posers and stuff, it gets crazy. My, my link? Yeah, what's yeah, your For Instagram? social media. <laughs> Jake Monreal. 33. Perfect. Dance 10, Jenna. <laughs> Tate McRae. <laughs> Catherine R. McCormick.
just went for the full name. You know. I, mean? I love that. It's easy too. Thank you all so much. Thank I'll you. see you next week. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Bye guys.